Memphis and Conroe. Weatherman promises a light breeze tonight. If you're headed to the game over in Bryan, take uh, something warm. Will he? Bill Robert here, Conroe High School. Of course, everybody knows this, this big, big bad district ball game between the Colleen Kangaroos and the Conroe Tigers. And uh, probably one of the best, best pep rallies I've seen in many, many years. I've been coming to pep rallies for 10 years or so, and this is definitely a very, very uh, outstanding pep rally. Conroe High School, 38 miles north of Houston and deep in the big-time football country. They found oil here in the 30s, and then they learned how to speculate in real estate. Oil and real estate taxes built a big-time athletic program. Football tradition goes deep in Texas, in Ohio too, in Pennsylvania, California, Michigan, dozens of states. Their high schools turn out the raw material that will stock the colleges and eventually the pros. The enthusiasm in the student body is tremendous. We have a student body here of 4,000, and we had our, our pep rallies in the gymnasium, and golly, it'll see 1,300, and they're stacked in the windows, and, and double decked up in the balcony, and the, the enthusiasm is tremendous. I don't really know what trait there is in these young men, and, and sometimes I tell them I don't know what trait it is. I don't know what makes us come out here and bang our heads into each other and run wind sprints and, and work in this humid heat down here, but there is a trait that seems to get in your blood, and you just can't get it out, and I don't think uh, society has anything to do with it. Let's get our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I know young people are able to handle this kind of pressure. Gosh, there's pressure is much, much bigger than this being placed on these young people. They know that last year's ball club won the district championship. And the young men will put the, that pressure on themselves that we've got to do at least what last year's ball club did. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We got about five minutes to kill. Several things I want to tell you. Number one, don't panic. If something bad happens out there early, don't panic. Keep your cool. We've been behind before. We've been way behind. Just don't panic. We've waited too long. Seniors in here to work six years to get to this point. I don't think you're ready to quit playing football. Hang together. Hang together and love each other out there and, and just keep going. We'll get there. I could not coach without being right there on the sideline with those young men. You feel the ebb and flow of emotions on the sideline, and, and I think it's very important that the head coach be there with them. And there are major decisions that have to be made, and those have to be made by the head coach. Find out where that man came in. We feel like it, that the game is not really run on the sideline by screaming and yelling and hollering at kids, but by keeping them calm and, and making sure they carry out the assignments that uh, they've been given during the week. Right now, most of these players are at the very peak of their athletic career, but a natural selection process has already started. Some of the seniors will get college scholarships. A few will become stars. Some will drop out along the way. Injuries, marriage and a job, a coach who loses interest. It's a rare high school player that makes it to the NFL. 